Yeah, there's gonna be people uh, that can smell this video. It's a nice black shaft you got there, pal. Thanks. Hey, Austin, hopefully your pin is straight. I mean, it might be a little to the left. <laughs> yeah, that's, you, a, that's a start for my morning, like waking up and beating my rear end with a hammer. <laughs> I'm Diggin' Z71. My name is Dylan, and if you're new to the channel, I drive Clifford, which is my great-grandpa's 95 Z71. It has a turbo 5.3 in it. We, when, when we do things, we like to do them good. <laughs> so whether that means race good, break good, win good, eat good, play good, have friends that are good, you name it, we try to do all things good. Today, we are getting geared up, geared up, to do a little improvement on Clifford. So for you OGs who have been around a little while, you'll know that um, earlier this year, like in January, I think it was, we broke the rear end in Clifford. We broke his original, completely unopened, untouched G80 rear end back then. Yeah, that'll happen on them big jobs. We started a whole lot of shenanigans. But throughout all that, we ended up finding out that Clifford has 342 gears in it. I thought my whole freaking life that he had 373s but come to find out, I was wrong. He has 342s in it, and I thought he had 373s. But anyway, it has opened up the opportunity for us to check out other gear options. And I told you back when we first repaired Clifford with the 342s, uh, we were on a bit of a time crunch. We didn't have time to do front and rear. We didn't have time to be changing the combo up. We didn't have time to be making radical adjustments, but now is that time. All right, there's two rear ends in my truck, but three asses. <laughs> Here we go. This is Austin's getting the four fifty sixes. Hey, say it for me one time. Four fifty six. Four fifty six. Well, what's mine getting? I mean, that, that four, that four eleven. Four eleven. Four eleven. Four eleven. I think I'm gonna write that on the screen down here. Four eleven. Four fifty six. Four eleven. And four eleven. <laughs> I've never had this. The rear end. Of <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. I've never had the cover off this rear end either. Uh-huh. Uh, this truck's probably got... <laughs> 315,000. Well, I've put 15,000 on it since then. So, we're going to see what it looks like. I don't Maybe, know. I, you know, I, there's no way it's going to look as bad as mine did when we took the cover off for the first time. I'm just hoping that we don't go through six grinding discs to get the... Uh, yeah, and some super glue and magnets <laughs> and air. Oh, so, that was a mess. If you guys have not watched um, Austin and I pull the cover on my rear diff for the first time, you definitely should because it's uh, it's for drastically dis different reasons that we're doing it now. But when we took the cover off mine for the first time, a, uh, a lot of things came out. And then, oddly enough, ironically enough, a lot of things got stuck inside there. So I'm going to link that description or that video down in the description below. But the uh, G80... Um, the G80 destruction, the G80 disassembly was a good video for me. So uh, you haven't seen that one, go watch it. But meanwhile, we're about to dive into this one and put some 456 gears in Austin's hunting truck. It's that stuff you get on you and you smell it on you for a week. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be people uh, that can smell this video. Back in my full wheel drive days, this was like a cologne. It was, it was a cologne. It was pretty much a cologne. Yeah, it was a it must. A permanent smell of yeah. like burnt gear oil. It was a musk. So, you blew your G80 up. I blew, uh, I blew three of them up. Yikes. What a rebel. I, uh, I've been in and out of a 10 bolt a few times. So, you, what you're saying is you're hard on parts also. Yeah. It's not just me. Especially back in my, my teenage days. <laughs> so, I mean, it was, it was sure hellfire all the time. I mean, it was to the wood anywhere we were. If it's on a dirt road, it's gonna get tore up. But now we do it on asphalt. And we just thought it was fast. We just thought it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was. It was more loud than fast. It sounded loud. All right, open this thing up. Let's take a look. Oh, uh, yeah. I think you can pry it off. With my bare hands. With your use your use your uh, strong hand, Jimmy. Yeah. Get a hammer and a screwdriver, we'll get it. I just really want to see what this thing looks like. It probably looks incredibly uneventful. 
but I want to see it anyway. Yeah, we never had any problems out of it. So, I've been sitting there with wheels. Ooh, ooh, oh, come on with it. I've never seen one black. Freaking black. Yeah, it's like a black Mustang. Yeah, it's like a black Mustang. Probably never been changed, Dylan. Yeah, it's like a black Mustang. Probably never been changed, Dylan. Probably the same deal that you had on your truck. <laughs> or was the factory rear end oil? I don't even know. I don't I don't think mine was this dark. I'm going to have to add a clip of my... This is, this is dark. Yeah, I don't think mine was this dark. I'm going to have to add a clip of mine coming apart for that first time. But... Flashbacks. It's like that little cat and nom meme. Yeah, <laughs> this one's actually in one piece. I that, think yours was in three. That one's in one piece and straight. Hopefully your pen is straight. Hey, don't talk about it. Hey, Austin, hopefully your pen is straight. I mean, it, it might be a little to the left. <laughs> That good stuff. Noise. It's a nice black shaft you got there, pal. Thanks. Hopefully it's not bent. I hope not. I don't know about y'all, but this is uh this is the closest I've ever come to actually using brake clean, even like remotely near brakes. Like I can't the fan. The fan's just blowing it away. Stupid fan. Bears. Listen, guys. Safety third, okay? Safety third. <laughs> Safety third, guys. Safety third. No caption. This is this is gonna be a pro mod rear end in a mud truck. And I got an actual mud truck. I don't even know why I'm painting. It's gonna be covered in clay in the first month. Yeah, but it'll be blacker clay. Yeah. We got we gotta make the outside look like the inside did when we took it apart. Yeah. <laughs> now that's a fact. Hey man, what's the deal? You didn't get this thing done last night? You didn't get this thing done last night? Heck no, man. What, what'd you do? You had too many mickle bobs, huh? Yeah, one too many. Oh, a couple mickle bobs. Hey, you already got one this morning. No, I'm Red Bull today. It ain't noon yet. We gotta wait till noon for the mickles. Monster. Uh-huh. All right, so here we are, day two of uh, getting these trucks geared up. Basically, last night, all we worked on was Austin's rear end. We got it torn apart, got it cleaned up, and we were getting ready to put the full fitty sisses. Say it, tell it one time. Full fitty sis. Yeah, we're going to put the... No, 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 I fall 11. You fall 56. Yeah. Anyway, we're getting ready to put the 456, the 456 gears in uh, Austin's rear end real quick. And then uh, if everything goes good, we'll probably just end up putting that thing back in his truck today and get on mine another day. But we'll see how that goes. But for now, let's get these fall 56s in. Maybe it's just a guilty pleasure of mine. But I really like watching you beat your own rear end. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. and you're already out of here. It starts my morning like waking up and beating my rear end with a hammer. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Listen, I'll, I'll tell you, the whole, the whole secret to this is that you have to care about your carrier. See, the carrier sounds like a verb, like you have to carry about something, but no, you have to care about your carrier. And that, that that's the truth, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Austin's, not, Austin's not living the uh, dad joke life today. He's not feeling it. He's too serious. But... One thing about it is he, he cares about his carrier, so that's enough for me. What's the dude with the big afro that paints? Uh, Bob Ross. Yeah. We're just going to put a little, a little blue and pattern right here. That's going to be our happy little secret. We're, we're, we're going to put a little pattern paint right there, just, just between us. At least I look like I know what I'm doing, right? Well, I don't know. All right, that looks good. Of course, Florida. Bees, Florida, and it just randomly to start decides to start raining so we got this whole thing put back together i didn't film much of it my hands were too nasty couldn't hold the camera but you know the deal there's a million billion videos on doing gears and gm 10 bolts out there you didn't need to see it but uh of course it here it is in florida starts raining you know 
So we went and got us some dinner. We got us some Mickle Bobs, but we also improvise. We also adapt. We also overcome, but there she is. Factory Street finalist right there. But we got us our tent up and uh, rear end to put in. Get after it. Getting her in there like swimwear or what? Something like that. Or hair and a biscuit, which one? Hair and a biscuit. Uh, all right, but we we got listen. It's raining. I, I already Florida. made. Well, yeah. Well, it'll be sunny. Yeah. I don't care if it's ten o'clock at night. It'll be sunny here in about five minutes. Hey, you ain't wrong. But uh, while it is raining, you know I done made a joke that these new gears make a jump uh, jump a coke can in the rain. You think we could try? I'm good with old college try. I uh I got a sprite can right there. We gonna we gonna see if we can jump it right there. It's only eleven forty. There's my Coke can. We're about to jump both of them. See, this is what you're talking about jumping. That's a stage one jumpy boy. Well, this is what I'm actually going to jump. Listen, that's a stage one jumpy boy and a stage one and a half jumpy boy. Fire it up. Fire it up and see if it sounds any different at idle. Oh, dude. That thing's chawing for sure. I can hear the gears already. I can hear them, I can hear them whining already. Don't say that. <laughs> All right, pull it up. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna listen for it out here. I don't know. It's moving. Well, boys and girls, I don't hear anything. We got Aiden joining us. Huh? Aiden is uh, one of our buddies. He's got a freaking sick ZL1 car. That thing is ignorant fast. Big time roll racer here locally, but he's gonna hop in here with us. So don't judge us for, uh... I don't hear any noises. It's not howling or nothing on, on XL anyway, or SL. We, I, I mean, I put oil in it. I don't know if you, I don't know if you took the rear end out of the oil, but I put oil in the rear end. Okay. All I can hear is these tires chawing. I don't know, so far so good, huh? All right, yeah, so we're doing we're coming downhill here, but the real test is gonna be coming up this next one. We'll put it on cruise control at 35. There's, there's not very many hill. What, is it really 35 or is it? Well, is it's it? uh, 50, so I'm gonna guess it's we're going. <laughs> yeah, we figured it'd be about 13, 15 mile an hour off, huh? All right, let's see what what it does. There's not very many hills in Florida, but here's 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 one. Well, there's a damn stoplight. So, are you gonna stop at it? We're gonna have to. Okay. Are 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 you about to do a burnout? Is, well, is we this... put 20 miles on it. So that's a good break-in. Listen, right? listen, listen, listen. Are you about to do a burnout? Is that what we're gonna do? We're gonna do something. Tw we went on a 20 we're minute gonna, 20 we're minute do drive. One of those burnouts where you're, there's a lot of smoke, but your tires aren't spinning. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's gonna be some beaten right, beagles. We go, we're here. gonna beat some beagles behind us. Here we go. Cha 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 cha. <laughs> <laughs> well, what it feel like, driver? It felt better. Well, I mean, we shifted in like ten feet, but yeah. it felt better. Woo. Truck thought we went half a mile, but we went ten feet before it shifted. We didn't break. We didn't break our... We nothing broke. That's we a win. Gear. That's a, that's a win. You gotta close the shop down. Yeah. So tell me about it though. Tell me, tell me about your first ride with your first, you know, uh, gear swap only vehicle. That, that's the first time we did no changes besides a gear swap. What do you think? It felt pretty good. We, think you'll be happy with it? Yeah, we gotta get the tune right. So I we, we needed to shift it like 30 feet, not eight. Yeah. I mean, like as soon as you come from a, a stop, as soon as it starts rolling, it's shifting in a second. Yeah, it just don't know what it's doing. But yeah. It's freaking out. ABS is going crazy. Nah, the brake yeah. lights going wild. <laughs> they don't know what the heck's going on right now. But, but yeah, I mean, it felt pretty good. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know we only parked throttled it around town, but I'm just trying to see what your gut reaction is because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to compare what you're saying now to what I think I'm going to expect when we do the gears in my truck. Oh man, it's gonna, it's gonna feel good. Man, I think you're, I'm, yeah. I really think you're gonna like it. I'm pretty pumped about it. So. Yeah. Cutting 140s, you put the 342. Yeah, doing all we can, which we've got it pretty easy. I, I can go like mid 140s pretty easy now at a track. Now that I kind of got a handle on it, so I'm uh, I'm very curious to what I'm gonna have to do tune wise to get this thing down the track now. You'll be able to jump four of those Nicky Nicolo 
Mickle Bobs. Mickle Bobs. Mickle Bobs. Y'all just hop over all four of them. Why is it so hard to say Mickle Bobs? Dude, Gary's trying to say Mickle Bombs. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Guys, like Austin said, it's about 1 a.m. We uh, are literally closing up shop. We're cl closing the shop down for the night. But uh, got the gears done in his truck. We're going to get on mine later this week. We kind of ran out of daylight, ran out of time to get on mine. We wanted to get his truck wrapped up because his truck was parked here in front of his car. So he couldn't get it out. Freaking jack wagon. But anyway, we... Uh, Got that done, super happy with it. Gonna get the truck lined out and then we're gonna get working on mine. But as always, I'm Diggin' C71. My name is Dylan, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all those things. Make sure that you're subscribed because sometimes you think you are and you're not because YouTube just recommends you. But at the end of the day, you gotta make sure that you're subscribed and the bell is rung. Keep digging, we'll see you next time.